In this video, we are going to give you a tour of the Department of Environmental Health in Mayaguez, Puerto Rico. You may be confused and think this is a government housing project rundown slum. You might not be wrong. This is what it looks like. Stay tuned. On October 4th, this past Friday, I flew to Puerto Rico for what was supposed to be my next appearance in my criminal case. And at this hearing, Dr. Adriana Luna was supposed to be cross-examined by my lawyer. My friends and supporters and I all placed bets on whether or not she was actually going to show up, or if she would make some bogus excuse about a car accident, uh, being sick, bomb threats, or something else as an excuse not to show up. And of course, she didn't disappoint. After spending about $500 round trip to fly from Florida and rent a car and pick up several of my supporters to attend the court hearing, we were presented with this note, supposedly from Dr. Luna's doctor, excusing her from court due to a COVID infection. Notice how this note is actually dated October 1st, and the court hearing was October 4th. Is there a reason why the, neither the prosecutor nor Dr. Luna notified me on October 1st when Dr. Luna got the supposed doctor's note saying she would not be in court on October 4th? Or are they just continuing to play games and make me fly down to Puerto Rico, spend hundreds of dollars, waste two days of my time to show up in court when they knew four days in advance that Dr. Luna would not be at this hearing and that she was the only witness scheduled to testify at this hearing. According to the prosecutor, Dr. Luna only let him know the day before the hearing. Well, fine, you could have let me know the day before the hearing because I didn't fly to Puerto Rico until the day before the hearing, specifically 11 p.m. the night before the hearing. So if they had any ethics and had any consideration for other people, they could have easily contacted my lawyer on the afternoon of Thursday, October 3rd, and told us that Dr. Luna would not be attending the hearing, and that I could then stay home and not waste hundreds of dollars um, to fly there, rent a car, and also have numerous supporters of mine pay money, take off work, drive from San Juan 100 miles to Mayaguez to attend this hearing. But no, here is more examples of the bad faith, lack of ethics, and dishonesty between both the prosecutor and Dr. Luna, who are doing nothing but playing games and trying to waste as much time and money of mine as possible. So now before we move on to our tour of the Department of Health and Mayaguez, let's take a quick look at this doctor's note. The doctor is supposedly Willie Vasquez, uh, located uh, in Ponce, uh, at the suite number 909 at this address. At first glance, there doesn't seem to be much suspicious about this note other than the fact that it is handwritten in English in Sharpie, which is quite bizarre for a Puerto Rico doctor. But who is Dr. Willie Vasquez? According to sources, he is actually the father of PJ Sinsuela, who is the boyfriend of Adriana Luna. PJ Sinsuela is a local rapper, and he is also a doctor, Dr. Vasquez. And where is Dr. Vasquez, also known as PJ Sinsuela, where does he work out of? He is living in Ponce, works in Ponce, and actually the medical license for Dr. Pedro Juan Vasquez, also known as PJ Sinsuela, is registered at the exact same office, address, and suite number as his father, Dr. Willie Vasquez, MD, the same one who supposedly authored Dr. Luna's sick note saying that she had COVID without actually producing any COVID test results so that she could get out of testifying in court at my hearing on Friday. Like father, like son. Willie Vasquez, Chief of Gastroenterology, Dr. Pedro Juan Vasquez, also known as 
uh, PJ Sinsuela and the famous rapper boyfriend of Dr. Luna. Interesting, isn't it? Here, according to Wikipedia, the father of PJ Sinsuela is Wilfredo Vasquez Olivencia, and he is a doctor in Ponce, the same doctor who wrote Dr. Luna's excuse for court, supposedly. Since the hearing was canceled, we actually went to the medical office of Willie Vasquez, but he is conveniently closed on Fridays, so we were not able to speak with him to verify the authenticity of this note. So after the court hearing was canceled, Jeannie, one of my most loyal supporters, and I went to find the Department of Environmental Health to try to get the record that they have where Maria Gonzalez, my former neighbor, made complaints to the health department against me regarding uh, me having too much trash and causing her fly infestation and, and all her other bogus complaints that were already put to rest in a court hearing back in 2022. We drove to the published location of the health department only to find the building closed and run down with no signage or notice as to where it had relocated to. Thankfully, there was a nice older gentleman sitting across the street at a cafeteria in the parking lot, and so I approached him, and he was kind enough to give me directions to the Mayaguez Medical Center campus where they had relocated to. It was a bit of a drive to get to the Mayaguez Medical Center, but it looked like a nice modern facility, um, despite having to pay for parking. Um, and it was actually a very large campus with about 10 different buildings with absolutely no signage, no directions to tell you what building was what. We saw this one building and we thought, no, this certainly cannot be the Department of Health. It looks like a rundown government slum housing project. And on the upper levels, there were people sitting on the balconies, airing out laundry and going about their business. So we immediately dismissed that as a possibility. After driving around for about 15 minutes, we went inside and asked where the health department, specifically um, environmental health, was located. And we were told that it was in a building on the back side of the campus. So we went to the back of the campus and there was this nice looking blue building and we assumed this must be the building. But when I went inside and started to walk around, a staff person told me that this was not the environmental health building, but that was a, a different building, um, actually the next one over. So I went outside and started to walk around. Eventually, I walked back into the main medical center building and nobody in there seemed to know anything about the environmental health department. They kept referring me to the blue building, which was the Department of Health that included pediatrics and vaccines, but not the environmental health department itself. Eventually, someone finally told me that it was the yellow green building, the one that looks like a rundown housing project slum, and I was in complete disbelief. Although we had no idea which building was the Department of Health, we were certain that this building could not be it until a staff person actually verified for us that, yes, this rundown, disgusting building is actually the Department of Environmental Health. I had absolutely no intention of making a video or recording this place. We had simply come to try to get a copy of my file, but given the hypocrisy and the irony of this whole situation where the Department of Environmental Health is in charge of going around to the homes of private individuals and critiquing their cleanliness and telling them that they have to clean up their property and make repairs and all these other things. I had to make a video about this. So here we are at the health department in Mayaguez. This filthy rundown ghetto building that looks like a housing project is actually the Department of Health. The same Department of Health that goes around to people's homes and tells them that their homes are not clean enough. You can see these screens are ripped to shreds. There's mold. 
there's part of the ceiling hanging in here. Everything is filthy. It's in disrepair. It smells disgusting. We got water dripping. Got parts of ceilings missing. Water damage. This has been like this long enough that we have plants growing out of it. A disgusting standing water down here with poison rat traps. My broken street light here. Uh, just assorted trash. Hi. Hi. Hola. Hola. Uh, I, I'm just making a video right now. Okay. What for what? Uh, of the health department to put on YouTube. You you, you have to go to the department. The no, I'm just taking a video of the conditions of the building. For what? Because I'm making a YouTube video of the Department of Health building. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Alright, there's a broken lighting fixture with exposed wires. getting hassled by government employees who feel free to come to my house and hassle me. Um, this is an extreme amount of bird excrement. Um, more assorted trash here at the Department of Environmental Health. Perhaps one of the larger hypocrisies here in Puerto Rico. Okay, some more trash. More bait, poison bait boxes for rats and mice. More vegetation growing out of the side of the molded concrete. Here's more of the parking lot, some more of the rundown building here at the Department of Health. Beer cans, soda cans, sort of trash. Iguana. Overgrown grass. Isn't that one of the complaints they had that uh, my yard was not properly maintained? All right, what else do we have here in the parking lot? The Department of Health. Oh, what's this? A dead, rotted pigeon carcass. Um, so excuse me, who has dead animals on their property? Wasn't me. Actually, it's the Department of Health with dead animals on their property. And here's a disgusting, discarded COVID mask. And here's a discarded medical latex glove next to a poison bait box and a cigarette. More trash. Beer cans. Smells disgusting. Smells like, oh, this is what it smells like. Another dead pigeon. This is two dead pigeons rotting and smelling disgusting. More trash, and more trash, and trash, and another mask. Some broken pipes. More of their building in disrepair. More vegetation growing. Mold and rust. overgrown vegetation 
property not being maintained properly. God, you just smell rotting dead animals. Must be those pigeons. And another mask, more trash. Another mask, overgrown vines on the fence. More trash, another mask. That's what we have here in the parking lot at the Mayaguez Department of Health. Here's another one of their disgusting abandoned buildings. And here we have yet another dead and rotting pigeon. So what's that now? Three, four dead pigeons in the course of the last minute of walking around. But they're going to come to my house and criticize me. This is just the outside of the building. You should see the inside. And here we have another overgrown part of the property. Got grass up to almost my knees. More trash. Oh, it's this, you know, some sort of conduit or electrical wiring hanging down here. The mold on the ceilings. Exposed electrical wire sticking out of this box. A broken pipe. More trash. Exposed electrical conduit running on the ground. Missing paint. Trash. More exposed wiring sticking out of a light fixture or something. Not sure what this particular dungeon is. More exposed wiring. Filth. This is all part of the health department complex here in Mayaguas. You know, the people that come to your house and tell you it's not clean and you have to fix things. So perhaps they should take a look at their own buildings and property before they start harassing innocent civilians. And there it is. There is the big health department building where we started. Okay, I'm here at the Department of Environmental Health to get a copy of the file containing the complaint that Maria Gonzalez made against me, um, since it's a closed case, so they should give me the file. Look at this disgusting. This is literally inside the Department of Environmental Health. Amazing, these people come to my house. Tell me my house isn't clean enough. You know, because they keep their place so clean. Sidewalk ambiental, estaba buscando. 
¿Dónde está la joven que está saliendo allí? Allí es. Okay, muchas gracias. Sí, allí es. La supervisora la está esperando. Ah, gracias. Hola, buenas tardes. Uh, necesito unos documentos porque mi, mi um, vecina hizo una correa con, contra yo oh, y, okay. y el caso uh, está cerrado. Uh, está cerrado okay. uh -huh. Necesito una copia. Okay. No le puedo dar la copia porque nosotros mantenemos confidencialidad. La quería es confidencial. Ella le dio a las noticias y fue a la televisión. So my videotaping ability cut off because I was trying to show this lady who's the supervisor for the Department of Environmental Health the copy of the email that Maria de los Angeles Gonzalez had provided the news with and that had been put on television in front of millions of people. This woman, Janice Albino, was refusing to give me a copy of my file or the complaint made against me saying that it was due to confidentiality reasons. Well, I told her that first off the case was closed, as you can see here in this email that Teleonce put on the news, it says the complaint was finalized and closed, it could not be substantiated, and it's on the news. How do you claim confidentiality when you out yourself, you go on the news, you admit you made the complaint, you put the complaint on the news, and the complaint is filed. Maria Gonzalez not only went on the news and outed herself as having filed this complaint against me, but she also testified against me in court, as did this man, the health department employee who had originally come to my house, and he admitted, after lying repeatedly on the stand, that the complaint was actually closed and knew no complaints against me had been filed. And again, if they're so concerned about confidentiality, why are these four men from the Department of Health at my house with the news, speaking to the news, telling the news that complaints had been filed against me, putting my name, my house, and everything else on the news in front of millions of people, yet when I request a copy of the complaint that was filed against me. They refused to give it to me, citing confidentiality reasons. Right. In the middle of my conversation with Janice Albino, the supervisor lady, this guy walked in, Eduardo Padillo, uh, Eduardo Padilla, the director of environmental health for Mayaguez, who had repeatedly been at my house and also in court against me. He also refused to give me a copy of the complaint against me or anything in my file saying it was an open case and citing confidentiality reasons. They both told me that my lawyer would need to make a formal request. I said, why does my lawyer need to make a request? I'm here right now making a request. The complaint is about me. It's already been on the news. You've been on the news talking about it. You and Maria Gonzalez have publicly testified in court against it, and I am entitled to a copy, yet they refused. On my way out, I asked Mr. Eduardo Padilla, the director of environmental health, if he was aware that there were dead pigeons all over his property, along with medical waste and assorted trash. He said yes and shrugged me off, completely unconcerned. If this doesn't show you that this is a complete witch hunt and that this is all for political reasons and attacking the gringa and has nothing to do with anyone's concern about my animals. Well, here they are illegally poisoning pigeons, leaving the dead carcasses all over the public property to rot, having their building covered in mold, covered in filth, covered in bird crap. <sighs> yeah, right, I'm sure, I'm sure they're real concerned about my house. So thank you very much, Dr. Adriana Luna, for having your boyfriend's daddy in Ponce, uh, totally across the other side of the island from where you live and work in San Juan, 
write you a doctor's note on October 1st saying you have COVID and then failing to notify me or my lawyer or apparently even the prosecutor if you ask him, thank you for failing to notify any of us of your supposed COVID infection so that I could spend $500 to fly to Puerto Rico, rent a car, and not have a court hearing. But instead, take this wonderful field trip to enlighten us all on the actual conditions at the Mayaguez, Puerto Rico Department of Environmental Health. Look at this. Perhaps somebody should file a complaint against the Department of Health for their unsanitary and filthy conditions for illegally poisoning the pigeons and leaving their carcasses to rot all over the property for allowing medical waste and other assorted trash to be thrown all over the property to have exposed wires, mold, and other filth sitting there for the public to enjoy. Thank you so much.